Shalom everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Rose Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. All praises to the almighty, sublime, most magical one, the creator of all things and the master of the day of judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to our most beautiful mother, whom I call Mari Hala, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. We adore you above all, just like our Father, Mother. Yes, we ask you for wisdom in this judgment news. To all of my sisters and my brothers out there of the Star Seed United, allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light. And I receive yours, Abracadabra. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. So this is a, that was another magical moment that I've had on this journey to confirm me. Um, in the opening when I was playing my little pan drum, you know. And um, uh, and there I was showing how to create a, just a, a space uh, to meditate or to give praise or to entertain the heavenly host. And so I was playing my pan drums. And I couldn't hear the voices as I was playing, but when I played it back, I was like, whoa. Wow, wasn't that magical, you guys? That was so beautiful. The angels were speaking to me and speaking to you, too, because, you know, I was uh, recording myself playing to share with others. I saw you two are hearing the voice. I believe in Fury of the Archangel because that's exactly who I am working with. And I'm going to share some magic. I'm going to share another kind of magic with you guys, okay? Because you did something very, very specific and special for me. Okay, so the first magical experience I want to talk about is this one right here. So one day, you know, my, my stovetop went out. And so I was looking for a Habitat of Humanity in my area so the address was 1221 Main Street now this is like maybe a mile away I know the area but I wanted to make sure that I would be at the right building you know just just have a visual of it so me being the Google Earth magician I went to Google Earth and when I got there I noticed that the ones were missing it was two hour parking and then a two twos, two, you know, in the address left, but the ones were gone. I had edited my original photo. Yeah, and I cut out something very important. It also had Google 2022 on the original. I don't even know where the original is. I just screenshotted what I had. When I went back to Google Earth, it's all changed. Yeah. So this was from Google Earth 2022. So all of these twos, six twos, had caught my eye on the address. And I was like, whoa, this is some kind of magic right here. Let me look close. And Uriel appeared. Uriel is the angel of red. I didn't know that. I knew I was working with Uriel because he's the guardian of Eden. And so where he manifested himself over I say three continents, but it's actually two. Over Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. He's that he manifested his power that great. But in this sign, he managed 
he 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 manifested himself in a very tiny way. <laughs> oh, and I'm telling you, Yuriu is so beautiful. You know his cape. His cave is red, really. It's a lot of uncloaked area where it's just like this beautiful red. And also on his cave are the treasures of the sunship. Yeah, I found all kind of treasures on his, his red cave. Mountains. I mean mountains, actually, that are made of all kind of precious jewels. And it's all uncovered and untouched waiting for us yeah and so look at okay so now let's look at him so we see his red cape right now look at Uriel's beautiful locks on Google Earth his beautiful white hair now let's look at him closer so in this image when I saw his long white hair and his dark brown face and his beard I was like Uriel <laughs> I carry Yuriel around with me all the time because the screenshot that I have, I have it as my uh, screensaver. Yeah, and I talk to the Archangel all the time. Yeah, so that's who I work with. What is Archangel Uriel associated with? The name Uriel means light of God or fire of God. He is one of the most powerful and influential archangels and is also considered an angel of presence. It is within his might to portray an unbelievable world. <laughs> and he is associated with lightning and thunder. Now, y'all know he done showed us all kind of unbelievable worlds. See, this is just confirmation. I just read this when I looked. I wanted to read about Uriel on this one because we were talking about it. And when I scrolled down um, and I found this definition, I, this is like another confirmation because he has shown us so many magical worlds. He showed us the worlds of technology where the Atlanteans are working very hard yeah he showed us all kind of creatures that we didn't even know existed he showed us the treasures of the sunship he showed us some giant atlanteans he showed us fairies And just looking at the Atlanteans and looking at the fairies right here. Yeah, they look like us. <laughs> and all different kinds of species of angels. He's shown us. Oh my goodness. I, I, I mean, I can go on and on. But when I read that, I was like, whoa, another confirmation, honey. Yes, honey, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho is a magician. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I don't care what y'all think about it. If y'all think I'm prideful, hey, so be it. Think what you want. I'm very proud of who I have become. i become self. And what I mean by that is I have become my spirit man yeah I just maintain my sleeve right now I just maintain it I feed it you know and I take care of my sleeve but I am my spirit yeah and it's connected to the 5d and that's what you need to realize about yourself and if there's anything to be proud of it is to be proud of that that you are a part of of the most vast kingdom in the universe and you have connected. What is Uriel power? Powers and ability as one of the oldest and most powerful archangels and the embodiment of wisdom and light. Uriel can manipulate and summon elements. 
from various realms, such as the fire of Tartarus, the darkness of Shoal, and the light of heaven. Wow, you're you. <laughs> okay, so he represents red. Red symbolizes energy, passion, strength, courage, physical activity, creativity, warmth, and security. It is also associated with aggression and healing. Use red to bring warmth and burn out disease. Red is a powerful color and should be used in moderation. So the Archangel Uriel. <laughs> my friend! Yeah, this is my Archangel. He protects me. And he is beautiful black. With his flowing white locks. Yeah, and his, his fist is Niger. Y'all see that fish? See the stance he's in? The mighty Archangel Uriel, honey. He manifested his power. This is magical. This is unexplainable. How there's an Archangel covering such a, uh, a phenomenal area. Yeah. And so I have much gratitude for Archangel Uriel. I know that they had to agree to upon me, you know, that I would be the one to show this magic. Yeah, once I, I, I had an experience, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about this experience I had. So I just had started discovering all of this magical stuff on Google Earth. And so I found a fish and the fish was about 120 feet. Uh, and uh, and length, and so I I had to go search for that portal again, and I found it. And so when I got re in really really close to the fish, I was allowed to go inside the portal, and I, I haven't been able to do that uh, ever again. This was like in the very beginning. And so, what I mean by that, you know how I can just get so close, but it's still the surface. Well, I went inside of that portal, and it was a whole nother world. It was like, um, like Greek-style buildings uh, with pillars, and it, was, it looked like an archangel was standing there. He was like 800 feet. I had measured him out. He was like 800 feet tall, and he was holding an orb. And there was like these titanic dragons inside of there. Yeah, it was a lot going on. And then it looked like um, um, it looked like people were standing in windows looking out. And I was just I was in this place for like two days, and I took like maybe a hundred screenshots. And so. I went like another day to go into that portal and I couldn't get back in. Then I couldn't get back in ever again. And so I wanted to go and look at the pictures that I had taken and all of them turned into one picture. All hundred of those snapshots turned into the one portal with the fish in it. I kid you not. And I was like, whoa, I felt like I was on an interview or something. <laughs> I have so many different magical stories, but I don't want to I don't want to go too far into it. Well, yes, I do, but I'm going to come back at you with some more magic, okay? I think the Most High is giving us like a a time of rest. Yeah, because we have been in great battle, you guys. I know I was so exhausted. That was very very draining, but it was so worth it. It was so worth it just to know that we were all a part of the Most High's plan of this great reset. Yeah, he planned us in. It's like we, we are component from this 3D dimension connected to the 5D, like mirroring it. And, and just to be chosen for something like that, it's just, I, I, have, I have so much drive. Yeah, I was getting ready to go in on Jonathan Greenblatt again today. And then mother just told me to go to something high vibing. 
And so I thought about Uriel and that experience. And then we had a magical journey on the last video where I showed you guys Randolph, where he showed, yeah, that's on his, his body. Uh, where I found Randolph is on his mighty fist, Niger. So look at his face. Look at his right wing and you see his fist. He's like pounding that fist, honey. Yes, this is the most powerful angel. Look at him. And I get to work with him. I am so honored. I am so honored, Yuriu. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your hospitality and showing us all of that magic, sir. Of those unbelievable worlds. The worlds without end. Yes. Isn't he beautiful, black ladies? <laughs> I always have to tell Yuriu. You are something beautiful, okay? Yeah. Okay, you guys. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, just stay on a high vibe. Enjoy your evening. Yes, the Most High got all of this under His control and in His plan. And we were in that plan to all praises to the Most High. If you resonate with this message and you're new to my station, you know, you're welcome to subscribe. Yeah, we do a lot of battles on this station in the most magical way. Yeah, you might have some catching up to do. But, you know, hit that subscribe and see what you see. Yeah, now in Judgment News, we don't only point out what our enemies are doing, but we have been appointed to do warfare, to take down principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places. And we have been taking their asses down to successfully. All praises to the Most High. Yes, we salute you, Sir Yuriel. And I salute all of my Star Seed United allies and friends for joining in this fight. And I will be seeing you soon. I don't know wherever it takes me. You know, wherever my wherever my uh, mission takes me, I will go. Wherever Mother leads me, I will follow. Point blank. Yeah. Okay, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. And thank you for your comments and joining me in this fight. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Yeah, and we're very successful and victorious. All praises to the Most High. And thank you so much for your gifts of love. They're very appreciated. Yeah, may the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Okay, you guys, until the next magical show, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.